it's, it's kind of tough. I know with the ceramic that the white can dull with the water or over time, stuff like that. The stainless steel, I know you have to buy special cleaners to keep it, well, not really special, but you have to use a, a stainless steel cleaner for, otherwise you could scratch the stainless steel. But it's a lot easier, in my opinion, to keep clean more than you know, the ceramic over a couple of, you know, I'm not sure how many years, but the start to tarnish, turn yellow. Can I inject something into the conversation on this, please? Yes, please. Um, I've worked in uh, meat packing and uh, meat processing for some years, and all of the equipment in those industries is stainless steel, simply for the cleaning aspect of it. Um, it doesn't hold pathogens or fungi, you know, it's not porous so that uh, something can take root in it or, you know, it, it helps with the, the uh, sanitation, uh, fungicide, germicide uh, sanitation of, of the equipment, which has to be done uh, prior to USDA allowing the equipment to operate. So uh, in the industries that I've been in, stainless steel is the standard for uh, cleanliness and sanitation, um, and that should carry over, I would think, to the use of stainless steel fixtures in a public venue. But that's, you know, just uh, things that I know from uh, my, my experiences. Scott, did I understand that uh, you currently have three stainless steel sinks and ceramic toilets in your office? Placing those or going all one way or the other? It, it, it would replace, either proposal was to replace everything. So it would even be replacing the old stainless steel with the new stainless steel sinks. Now, Troy, okay, a good question is does the ceramic approach mean replacing existing stainless steel sinks with new ceramic sinks?
can it happen? That is an option. Yes. But the option vote on the motion first, and if the board can also modify them, then the motion, but if you have a motion on the floor, it can stay as both those motions. So that should probably get its vote first. Yes. Bob? Yes. Tom Hart? Yes. Kane? Yes. structure and then a stackable chair uh, that's entirely different. Okay. Let me hold let me pull this up. Uh, this chair fresh here this go. Is is it possible may I ask something? Yes, absolutely. So um why is it two toned? I think that's just the uh, just the reference picture that's on the website. You can pick any color you want. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm in more in favor of stackable. Because they could be used elsewhere if needed. For a day, whatever.
but that's what's used already throughout the building. Those are the guest chairs uh, throughout the PD and a few of the other parts of the tourist office. Yeah. Those are the ones that are... No, these aren't even... They, this would be a separate one. Those are three fifty dollars a piece. So I didn't... But that is what the budget was based upon. I based the budget upon the most expensive one. So we had budgeted 20 chairs at three fifty dollars a piece, 7000 and that's that chair. Um, I've given you a few other options here of, of a chair at $300 and at show the OM SG3C stackable chair. That's the only stackable one is what we're talking about. But I think that uh, Mark suggested, hey, listen, we could, if we needed more chairs, let's say, uh, let's say we wanted to, for one event, move some chairs to, um, to Porter Park Lodge. Let's just say we wanted to move chairs for just one event. Um, we have chairs elsewhere. That's what he was saying that we could use. I don't think so. Well, no, what I was saying, Sue, and I'm not disagreeing with it. I did say that if we bought this chair, that we do have some other chairs in my office and in the PD that are the same as that chair, right? I don't think okay. we would move anything right. like that to Porter Park, but I mean, you know, sometimes the police are doing training and different things like that, or we may have an event over here where we might need five or six more chairs, or whatever the case may be for a big opening or whatever, we would be able to, you know, intertwine with them. Okay. Focus on the stackable ones, we reviewed 
what was the unit price? 218. 218. 219. 219. Okay, they're stackable. They don't spring. Um, the weight, 275, you said? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And the material is what? Fabric. We have several options of color choice. A fabric okay. material. And durability, do they guarantee one year? Check them out.
here and we'll pick the next one. It doesn't matter what the call is. We can right. see it here and it here. Yeah. Right. <coughs> or any, how about this? Any, any, any <laughs> term they have that has that um, same life support system to get a sense of whether their springs are rocky or stable or not. Yes. Thank you. We are adjourned.